I want to share uh, some developments that have been going on that are uh, emulation and you know, gaming related that I think are pretty interesting. And there are things that if you haven't really thought about before, they might kind of open your mind to what's uh, possible uh, you know, for different solutions to these things. So um, a clever dude actually made this very interesting Mr. Core and effectively, what this core is, um, it, it essentially acts as uh, you know, a, you know, a video card for your computer. Uh, and so, so what happens is, on uh, you, you make a custom version of Mame, right? And then that version of Mame basically just sends out, you know, like the raw, uh, you know, uh, you, you know digital information about, you know, every frame that uh, the emulation is outputting, you know, basically all the graphics data. And it goes over the network to the Mr. Device. And then you use, uh, you know, the Mr. Device to actually do the digital to analog conversion out to your CRT or, you know, whichever display you're using. And, and basically, the crazy thing about this is you essentially get you know, no latency. You get the same latency that you get you know, using, you know, an FPGA solution um, instead of emulation. Because basically, there's no like all like that that whole, you know, modern computer video stack with all of the buffering and, and VSync and you know, all this bullshit. It's all gone. Like you're basically just pumping out pixels over the network. Uh, and so, so essentially, like the funny thing is, is that. Uh, Ironically, Mr. actually ends up being a really awesome accessory for software emulation. Um, and, 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 and the funny thing is about this is um, it kind of goes hand in hand with the stuff that I've been talking about because I've been talking a lot about audio over IP lately. And, um, it, it, and I just find it really kind of comical because it turns out that computing today is so perverse so fucked, so com so fundamentally fucking broken, and so bloated, and it's full of just bullfuck, that it's actually faster to pump out v not only audio but also video over a network than just to do it with what you would expect to be the the native you know fucking methods. I mean, I mean, don't you think that that's just fucking comical that 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 there's actually less latency outputting fucking video, you know, over um, uh, you, know, uh, you know, over the network. Than, than, than it is actually, you know, directly plugged in with something like DisplayPort or HDMI. So what a fucking farce it is. All because, you know what this stuff does? It bypasses all the bullshit. It bypasses all of the copyrighted, money-grubbing, licensed dog shit that is in the way and is ruining our fucking experience. It, it, it's, just, it's just fucking hilarious. So, so I said, this is, this is a very interesting concept. And... And I and I did mention it, you know, on the um, you know the groovy meme, you know, Discord, and I do think there's actually you know an interesting path forward uh, in other areas as well. Because so so we already talked about essentially transmitting audio and video over the network uh, to, to get the lowest possible latency. Like like with audio, you can get one millisecond latency. Um, with uh, this groovy Mister solution on the video, you can get you know um, you know sub one frame latency. You know, but essentially no lag really with with the emulation. And uh, but the other thing to consider is inputs. There's no reason that you that, that you couldn't just completely bypass the whole shitty USB stack, that the horribly laggy and uh, you know uh, latency filled USB stack, and even just do inputs over network. Just fuck it. Just, let's just say just fuck it, man. Let's just do all all I/O, all input and output. Let's just do it all over the network. Because see, here's the funny thing. You know how the world works. The, the world runs on fucking money. All people care about is money, and Networking speed is money. Uh, you know, the, the financial industry, you know, stock trading, all that stuff, you know, and, and basically just all of the transactions that happen across the world on the internet. A ton of brain power and resources have gone into optimizing all of this network dog shit. A lot of resources have gone into making it incredibly fast because it had to be for people to make as much money as possible. And so, so that's effectively what this is doing. We're, we're piggybacking on all of that insane work that's been done to make networking as ludicrously fast as it is. And, and I do think it's really interesting. Um, 
you, you know, after this kind of matures a little bit, I will definitely be updating my games to have um, a network, uh, you know, video output path so that um, you can send, for example, Final Fight's, uh, you know, video data to your Mr. device and then plug in your Mr. to a TV and get, you know, native, you know, 384 by 224, uh, you know, uh, Final Fight PC output with basically no, uh, you know, latency. Um, it, it's, it's pretty fucking cool. Um, so, so yeah, so, so there's that. So, so I said, so isn't it kind of interesting? It's like you, you wouldn't, it, it's just so unintuitive. You wouldn't think networking, you know, um, but, but really, I mean, you could do this for anything. I mean, and like I said, that's a funny thing. USB, for example, is so shitty. If you actually made a custom, uh, you know, joystick board that, that basically just had ethernet, right? And you made, um, you know, a custom program that it, where basically, um, you know, the, the, the game just, you know, um, uh, you know, sends and receives, you know, network data for, for the inputs, you could make a fucking Ethernet joystick that basically had no lag because, because, because networking is fucking faster than USB. Networking is literally fucking faster than USB. Isn't that pathetic? I mean, I, I said USB is an utter fucking failure. It's just as bad as HDMI and other shit. USB is just a colossal, complete fucking failure. It's used for fucking input devices, and it sucks. It's laggy. It's like it's like the one thing that you'd fucking use it for, it sucks at. It's like, what the fuck is this? Um, so, okay, so in any case, there's that. I also wanted to mention um, this uh, Lynx Awakening uh, DX uh, HD uh, thing that this dude released. And so, so basically, this is just like, uh, I mean, he basically did with, you know, Link's Awakening, kind of what I did with Final Fight. Um, so, so what's really cool about this is, um, you know, it, it, it has, um, you know, it works at different, you know, refresh rates. And so, so you can get, you know, high refresh rate and all that. And, and, and the thing he did that, that's really cool is um, you can basically just keep, you know, zooming out the game's camera. I don't know if they fucking showed it. I'm looking for a video where they showed it. Um... Oh yeah, here we go. See, you can actually zoom out in the game and see the entire game's map and all the objects and everything are still operating because that is how fucking simple these games are and how fucking fast computers are. And so, and so I just wanted to, you know, give this guy some kudos because, see, see this guy, you know, on a certain level, you know, he, he gets it. He gets it. He understands that if you make something like this, it should be something you haven't seen before. It should be something novel. It shouldn't just be a boring like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, uh, you know, add some sprites to open bore. Yeah, no, no, dude, like that's fucking crap. Like, show me something I haven't seen before. Seeing the entire Zelda overworld at once, that's novel. You know, that's that's something you haven't seen before. Seeing, you know, 32-9 aspect ratio final fight with 10 players at once, that's something you haven't seen before, right? See, that's what you have to do. I mean, I mean, so, so like I said, this guy gets it, you know, he gets that if you actually want to make something interesting, something that's worth people's time, it has to have something novel. There has to be something that's, that's a little, uh, you know, off the beaten path, you know, something, you know, that, that, that uh, uh, you know, that hasn't already been done before. Because basically, if you're not going to do that, there's no point. There's no fucking point. Why even do anything at all? It, it's just, it's just, you could just play the fucking game emulated. So, um, so yeah, I, I think, I think that's cool. Um. The only thing with, with this thing is, I, I wish the guy would have done it where he's not making the uh, the sprites snap when they stop moving, and so so basically he's moving everything with floating point, uh, you know, positioning, but but when the objects stop moving, he's not snapping to the pixel grid, so so that, that that's really that's really the only thing that he needs to you know do on that, and, and I think that would kind of you know make it look a lot better because basically y you you can get away with the um, sprites not being aligned with the grid while they're moving but when they stop if you don't snap them to a grid it's like really obvious that they're not aligned and if you really look at it like it kind of looks shitty um so okay so in any case that's just you know a couple of uh you know random things i think it's very interesting um that i i really do i really do suspect that all this kind of like io over ip shit i think it's going to be the fucking ticket man J just because like like i said the other these other standards are just so fucking compromised and, and and networking hasn't been ruined yet because networking by necessity almost has to be low latency and fast like it has to be or it won't even fucking work for what people use it for today 
And so so networking might be the last fucking thing that hasn't been completely corrupted yet by these shitty, you know, uh, corporate interests that have been fucking ruining, you know, computers for us. Oh yeah, I'm gonna link this shit in, in the description if you wanna check out the, the groovy mister thing. <laughs>